uh, or so. I will. I guess one degree centigrade, two degrees Fahrenheit. Nice in here. <laughs> brand new room. I'll, I'll get okay, we'll put that in work. We'll take a log off the fire. So nice to Amen. Meet you. We're watching now a replay of the view from inside the Harmony Note as the STS-122 crew members arrive on board the International Space Station at 1240 Central Time this afternoon, led by Commander Steve Frick, followed by Leopold Ayarts, who will take over on board for Dan Tani. Behind him is fellow ESA astronaut Hans Schlegel. Hans. Oh, yeah. look at the rocket station now. <laughs> Coming in now and carrying the camera, mission specialist Leland Melvin, embracing station commander Peggy Whitson on her birthday. Today, her 48th birthday. She's joked that she's received the visitors and a new module as a present. Whitson now greeting shuttle pilot Alan Poindexter. Pull in a china shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good <Lord>. See, man. <laughs> awesome. Yuri. Okay. Following behind Poindexter, mission specialist Stan Love. Welcome aboard. Finally made it. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Rex. Dr. Walheim. And the final member of the shuttle crew, Rex Walheim. Wow. While I'm now embracing flight engineer Yuri Malenchenko, all 10 crew members on board Atlantis and the International Space Station together in the Harmony node. The hatch opening and the crew moved in, shuttle crew moved in at 1240 Central Time this afternoon.